think that there's been times where they've had you know to deal with a lot of players coming at them with speed um, and they've done with it really well and obviously as we were talking about we've lost Jimbo but whenever you've got Mace who you know doesn't play every game able to fill in I feel like we're well covered Vesco out nine behind his net tries to send it right across the blue paint and that's a good defensive play by Derazio picked up behind the net by Jonathan Furland Furland little layoff there ended up on the stick of Sylvester Sylvester three games with no points and uh, that's the first time this season he's went that length of time and tries to make a move around Tyler Plews comes out from behind the net shot on target but didn't get the whole way through that time from Sylvester Tyler Plews in the corner he takes a hit from Jonathan Ferland Ferland again throwing that body he's more hits against or for the Belfast Giants than anyone else this season Plews slow to get to his feet and he's going to go for a change I think he was looking for a penalty there I don't think that was a penalty call. That's just, for, uh, it was fully right, playing him hard on the boards. He hits guys. Uh, and sometimes I feel like guys are actually starting to go down a little bit lighter these days. Shot come in, just wide of the target from Blair Riley. Riley, Rutherford and Brendan Conley back playing again tonight. The lovely chance for the Belfast chance through. Oof, Brandon pass. Benedict didn't get the whole way through again from Benedict. Rutherford to Conley. Shot coming in and nearly took the head off. Blair Riley has it come off the stick of a defenseman. There's going to be a penalty in the play here for hooking, I believe. He'll come off a shot from tracking off back on the blue line. Durazio once again steps out from behind the net. Cazola has Podsons on the right, gets the red line, dumps it in. Goes around the horn and Trill comes out to touch up and again cleared the length of the ice by Kevin Rain. Kevin Rain had a good start this season, picked up that concussion and took a bit of time to get back into it. But over yep. the last probably four or six weeks, I think he's probably been our best defenseman. Yeah, and he's starting to hit guys. Uh, I've noticed that a lot. Uh, and he hasn't scored a goal yet, but he's getting into rushes now. You've seen it the other night. He toe-dragged someone at the blue and stepped in, and the goalie made a good save on it. So, you know, he's starting to uh, he's starting to bring the puck up the ice, uh, and he does have that skill. Well, here comes the Edmure Capital shot coming in, and they've scored. And then he took a tip in front, and the cap's off the start in Belfast with a power play marker. Yeah, and d just as I was saying, you know, Trail hasn't had like a nice clean shot really so far and then he gets a point blank down the pipe and this one tips in front. Not much he can do about it to be honest. Uh, and yeah, the complete opposite uh, from what we want. Again, I'm not too sure if he's yeah, just on side it, was he? Edinburgh one, Belfast nil. It's, it's not been a bad start from Belfast. We don't think we've had, you know, we've looked like a few times we've gone to score and it's kind of come through the crease or fallen, you know, to someone at the wrong time. But obviously they've got their goal and probably one of their, what, two shots on net, something along those lines, two or three. Yeah, I would say, again, I'd like to know how many shots we've had so far. Again, it wouldn't be, it, uh, it certainly wouldn't be enough for being playing at home again. Here comes David Rollerford now. Rollerford tries to make a move inside and gain the poke check for Jay King and the Caps coming through neutral zone once again. Stripped the puck that time by Rollerford. Rollerford heads it forward to Riley. Riley with a shot. Good save by Besco. Come right out to the top of his boot plant. And yeah. Riley maybe had a little bit more time than he, he thought he did there. I think he did. And, 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 you know, his shot was kind of in the breadbasket right in the middle. You know, he could have maybe held on to that a second longer and picked a spot. But, you know, you don't know that sometimes whenever you're skating down. And let's not take it away from the goalie. That was a, that was a good save there from Besco as well. Trying to create a little bit of space himself. That's a good defensive play by the player, Coach Durazio. He clears the length of the ice. Sebastian Sevest in the zone. Feeds it forward to Darcy Murphy. Murphy, we all know, is absolute speed to burn. Yeah. You like us. He does. And, and the units have changed recently. I'm sure you're all aware. It used to be Cons out there with uh, Sly. And then Edinburgh will just chip this one into the corner, I'd say. There you go. Mm -hmm. He's going to go after it himself, yeah, though. He is indeed. He's beat Spiro to the puck that time. And they're going to get around the outside that time by Moasio. Just killing down a few more seconds for the Capitals. Here comes Sylvester once again for the Giants. Yeah. Edinburgh again doing a good job defensively. Sylvester looking for a helper there and he got a little bit of luck as John Kurtz has stepped off the bench. Sylvester, top of the circle, makes a move inside, tries to create a bit of space from Shelf. Shot coming in! And he gets his first power play goal the evening, his first point in four games. Yeah, there you go. I knew it wouldn't be too long before he got one. He's a fantastic player. And you see that dancing in between the players there to get himself into a nice scoring position in the middle. And uh, a lot of guys shoot that high glove, high blocker, and he buries it quite low, just above the pad, and that hard spot to, uh, to save. But yeah, that's good. Now we're back at 1-1. Just watching the replay. 
That's a fantastic goal. Yeah, great Murph, heads up play there from Murph, him. Murph and Kurtz at the net front as well, making it difficult for the goalie to come out and challenge. That's a chance first goal of the evening. It's a power play marker. And at 6-14. Yeah, if we keep getting chances like that, eventually they'll go in. Um, but as we sort of wind down here in the first period, I think Edinburgh will probably be the happier of the two. Well, there comes Edinburgh now. The back door playing a broken twig. Unfortunately for the Edinburgh Capitals, was all it maybe took away from maybe going a 2-1 up at the end of this first period, Dicko? Yeah, I, I actually think if that stick didn't break, uh, there was a good chance that was going in. It looked like he had the net to, to, uh, to shoot at. Uh, and yeah, then they would have been even more happy. <laughs> oh, a couple of, it must have been a couple of months ago. I just remember I came out, I thought it'd be a good idea to come out and take some one-timers early. <laughs> and uh, he hit one, and it, and it was a rising one. And I, I, sorry, Dick, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah, yeah. We can do it. Go ahead, work away. Sorry, the penalty's over. Yeah, uh, basically, it just caught me, caught me nicely in the mask. I woke up kind of in the recovery position in Colin Shields' arms, both lips bleeding, and oh, here comes the 2-on-1. Here comes the Caps now, top of the circle. Shot coming in. What a finish for the Edinburgh Capitals. 2-1. And, and we've, we've said it, they're dangerous coming forward. You, 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 you can't disrespect a team that's willing to jump up on a rush and, and get on. We just, they've just killed a, uh, a penalty, so they'll, they'll be feeling the vibes off that. You know, they'll be feeling happy about themselves. Next thing you know, they're up in a play, and that's a, that's a great shot, so it is. Igor Valiev inside the circle, yeah. and he goes top chase for his second goal of the evening. That's a great finish for the Edinburgh Capitals. Great finish. The D-man doesn't know where he's going to pass. He gives him the look. So the D-man, is he, is he going to pass it? Is he going to shoot it? Truzzi's the same. He doesn't know if he's going to pass or shoot. And as Robertson steps out of the penalty box, Kevin Rain now goes to the front door and Darcy Murphy gets a shot on target, but a good save by Besco. Round behind the net again for Kevin Rain. He's not used to being in there. Little drop pass in behind for Blair Riley. Riley behind the back pass this time for Rutherford. Rutherford spins away but loses his footing. Still got control of the puck. Valiev trying to keep him to the outside. And Robertson battling along the wall. But again, the Belfast chance keeping it. Here comes David Rollerford. Rollerford creating a bit of space right through the blue paint. Conley couldn't get that one on target. The chance have certainly ramped up the intensity. But keeping it at the blue line is Brandon Benedict. Benedict looking for a helper. Takes a little bit of time. Gets it across the blue line. Shot coming in. Goes the whole way through into the glove that time of Besco. And the Edinburgh Capitals goaltender covers it up. It's 6.02 to go in the second period. Well, the problem with that shot is he probably he obviously seen that all the way. He watched that all the way into the glove. Um, with that big shot of Rainers coming in from the point, you need to get guys going there and take away the goalie's eyes. If he can't see it, he can't stop it. It's the old cliche. And spin the way is Darcy Murphy. He leaves it back into the corner again, sends it back to the blue line for Galakos. Galakos winds up, tipped in front, just wide of the target from Gulakos and Belfast chance. Defenseman again, literally ramping up here. Winds that one in, tipped in front once again and goes wide to the target. This is good blocking from the Edinburgh Capitals. Ferdinand, little bit of time, sends it around. There's a cap man without a stick now and Dorazio under pressure. Sent out to the outside by Sylvester. Goes to the back door. Chance again for Sylvester. Right into the traffic and the Belfast chance putting themselves under pressure there but Fernan picks it up to Jonner. Jonner steps out from behind the net. Goes top cheese. Great finish from John Dustin Jonner. 4.32 to go in the second period. And we've got a 2-2 tie. Yeah, and the, the Capitals are just punishing themselves for taking too many penalties tonight. Uh, eventually, you keep taking penalties. The power play is going to click and they're going to get one. And Jonner there in the doorstep with a nice goal up top. Dustin Johnner's fourth goal of the season. He's missed a lot of hockey this year, Dicko, but he must be pleased to get that one. Yeah, and he worked really hard to get back in the lineup. He was out skating like at six in the morning sometimes before we could even get in, into Dundonald. Uh, so he really deserves to be back in the lineup, and he, he's, he's pumped to be back there. Uh, so there we are, 2 2. I'm getting all the text messages now. I've got uh, Matt Nickerson messaging me, Murph. They're all, they're all over me. I can't win. Big defenseman there just takes a nudge for his troubles, and there's a chance to Belfast chance break forward through Darcy Murphy. Up against Tyler Plews, gives it back. Chance coming through the high slot and could be, oh. block his way through there. Unfortunately for him, Moasio lost an he's edge lost, there. Yeah, he's, I thought actually thought he, he lost, lost the whole blade. blade. Yeah, um, it, we're, we're very fortunate he did because we had, they, uh, they had a guy on the far blue line, and if he slipped that pass in, it could have been a breakaway. The, uh, there was a player who lost a blade the other night, Greg Dundee. Yeah, he lost it in the corner. Um, that's the thing with the new like pop on, pop off blade. You hit the guy hard. Well, if, if his skate hits hard enough against the board, that blade can pop out and 
and uh, then you're sort of out there in one leg and it's hard to it's hard to get a stride. And there's a giveaway there by Brandon Benedict. Shot coming in just wide of the target. There's a oh chance no. for the Caps. And they take it and it's now 3-2 to the Edinburgh Capitals and their fans just celebrating down the right hand side. But again, a giveaway on the Giants blue line and pressure created by the Capitals and they take a 3-2 lead. Yeah, and you can't fault their fans for celebrating. They haven't had much to celebrate this year. Uh, and now they're coming into the team that's second in the league at the moment. And not only are they giving us a game, they are leading the game. If you look at that, that's a, that guy's just following up on the puck and Trudy's at the full splits there trying to get to that post, but to no avail, unfortunately. And now the Capitals take the lead and the Giants have it all to do. So face off to the right of Esker Rowani now. Again, he's been very composed in that Edinburgh Capitals net here this evening. Gulak Goss, there's a couple of Giants right in front with a blue paint here. Rutherford goes round behind. Connolly in the corner for Sylvester. Through the blue paint, covered up again by Besker Rowani. It came off a skate of his player coach in front. 33.3 seconds to go. Yeah, those are dangerous plays when it can hit your own guy in front because you, you don't know who's hitting. They're, looking, they're obviously looking for Rutherford in the back door there, so the goaltender's heading towards Rutherford. It could hit a skate and go in, but no luck so far, and we've got half a minute here to, to tie this game up and, and if you watch where Besk or sorry watch where Dorazio was standing he's standing at the far side of the post mm -hmm. so if, if he's standing right in front of the blue paint it's an opportunity to flick off a skate yeah. and go out in front so that's been cleared again it's just kept in at the blue line fantastic chance keeping. here for the Belfast Giants shot inside high and wide the target from Sylvest 19 seconds to go back to the the lock oh, shot coming through blocked in front the Edinburgh Capitals have a chance to break forward and there's a oh two no. on oh. That's probably game over. And they're going to go the length of the ice and tie it down and, and you, they've scored the fourth goal of the evening. And you hear the boos. And we've lost ground on Cardiff. Well, we haven't made any up, which is what we would have hoped to have done tonight. Uh, and they're, they're already congratulating their goaltender. They know he's played well. And uh, not a good result for the Belfast Giants here tonight. Well, again, there's the empty net goal. Just wasting again. He didn't shoot it immediately. He's taking a few seconds off the clock. And Mike Carzola gets his goal off the evening. A fourth goal to the Edinburgh Capitals. And the Belfast Giants fans are leaving in their droves. Yeah, and I know how it feels. I lost Edinburgh this year. But it was a cup game. And it didn't mean what this means. So that's going to do it. The Edinburgh Capitals celebrating. And rightly so, because they've done a great job here tonight for their team. And their coach. they done what they had to do. Look how happy they are. You can see it. And they've got another bit. And this will be a huge lift for them tomorrow. Tomorrow they play again, yes? Yeah, they've got Cardiff Devils tomorrow night. So it doesn't get any easier for them. But if they play like this, they're in with a shot against any team. And I have to say, that it, it didn't click uh, offensively for the Giants tonight. We controlled the majority of the game as we should. Uh, for whatever reason, we couldn't get pumped too past them. We didn't do the extra work to get the second looks and obviously the goalie played well stopping 41 shots or wherever he stopped and you know I asked the guys to keep the shots down and control the puck in the zone and they did do it for the most part and uh, well, a lucky power play goal they get, they get a, a deflection off a of tape and uh, a two on one odd man rush the third one shot off the wall and then tapped in. We, just, we didn't have enough tonight. Um, starts with me. Uh, I got to find a way to get these guys going. We're, I mean, we're we're in we're in a low spot right now, obviously. And I think since that Cardiff weekend, uh, whether or not it's uh, a letdown that we, that we didn't gain points on Cardiff or whatever it is, um, the team seemed to have. Fell apart here in the last few days and the uh, last few games, I should say. And uh, there's no place to go but uh, back to work tomorrow. I mean, you, you just got to do it. You just got to show up, and, and there's no excuses. You just got to come back, and we got to find our, our form again because uh, we obviously have a big game coming up in a few weeks with the Challenge Cup final ahead of us, and we need to build towards it. And um, we didn't get it done tonight, and uh, it's unfortunate.